Hey guys, Ycoms here and welcome back finally to the AMR PC GT3 Elite League with round 9, round Bathurst. I decided against uh, to, out, uh, to upload anything uh, from Donington, which was the race before that actually, because it was the most boring race ever. Uh, what actually happened, I qualified in P8, so, so that wasn't too bad, and uh, managed to spin actually on the first flying lap and that caused a huge pile up because it was uh, sitting on the middle of the track and I got huge damage from that I pit it and after that I didn't see a car anymore uh, on my lap at Ooh, least for 58 laps so it was very very boring and uh, not worth showing anything apart from that crash maybe which was, uh, was a little bit interesting but uh, well here we are then at Bathurst um, a track where we don't have actually that um, happy memories from from last season that was an absolute um, messy race for me I have to say I think it was my worst race actually and worst positioning of last season so but uh, here uh, I think the Bentley is very very good actually around this track with um, the elevation and the, this long stretch with the elevation is where this power unit of the Bentley is really 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 uh, helpful and also a very very stable car in uh, general so we should also be uh, quite fine here uh, on our qualifying lap actually already in the second sector in that downhill section and uh, so far I have to say very very good lap we are up on our time for about uh, four turns uh, about up on our previous time and also very very good through the dipper I think that's uh, that's what the, how the corner is called and now down the hill a very 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 long straight and um, yeah, uh, over half a second up now after the two f uh, after the first two sectors, and that would have uh, and uh, yeah, that would be by far my PB as we now approach the chase, which is uh, this chicane here. A bit of a slide there, but we break very very late there, and we didn't lose any time through there as well. Now um, we try to hit the apex for the last corner, a little bit wide. We so I could have touched the curb a little bit more there, but uh, here we go then uh, as we're entering the first start finish line and that's going to be a 202.6 which is a pay my PB I think by half a second because uh, yeah that was very very nice indeed. It is khaki and pole position in the McLaren uh, which is not surprising either. I think the Bentley and the McLaren are by far the best cars on this track. He's followed by Dinda and Tony just ahead of us and then Sol actually debuted uh, debut also in a Bentley. Very very good uh, qualifying from him as well. Grunstrand P6 who, la who won actually the last two races well which I recorded uh, at least and uh, then we've got Kanuma who's still challenging Kaki for the championship, but that's going to be difficult for him. Jellyfish in 8th, Papand in 9th, and Nostra. My teammate in 10th, so not, not a bad qualifying for him as well, I guess. Having a good, um, yeah, circumstances to get a good result here, because it's definitely the track where we have to deliver, because it's going to be the best car, uh, best track for us on the calendar. Class is in P11, Gibbs, who got promoted from uh, Pro as well. Uh, in P12, so good qualifying for him as well, I guess. Amazing 13th and Friday Central, AJ, Regal, Janetta, Marte van Band, Mini Black in 20th, very, very far uh, far down with the Z4, of course, uh, which is not too good on this track. And then we've got Tippo, Andrex, Blue Rat, Silver, and Brownskin Hideaki didn't set, and they didn't set at time. And I think there's another car missing. I'm not too sure actually, but uh, here we are then on the grid for this very very unique, on this very very unique circuit and also very unique starting grid because we are basically side by side with um, the car in front. Here we go then. I haven't been there for two races. It's even on the right. And uh, yeah, we're starting the formation lap as usual in this car. And this is going. I, I have to mention this is my best. Qualifying position in this league ever. Really, really uh, surprised how well that went, to be honest, because I didn't have too much practice for this one. But uh, Nostra made some very good setup changes, I have to say. The car felt really, really great coming, going into this race. And now we are waiting for Kaku, who's actually in the wrong livery for this race, uh, to pull away after the last corner and to start 
this round nine and hopefully it will be a better race than last time out uh, when we were here where we had quite some lag incidents and also a restart of the race but here we go then Kaki's on the throttle and we're having a better la launch also than Tony are we all uh, already taking the position from him always oh, oh, I think a little bit over to us but here we go then around the first corner and we're taking finally the posi position of Tony so very very good start from him up into a podium position even after the first corner and uh, yeah, it will be interesting to see if we really have the pay a race pace to stay there. Um, I highly doubt it, <laughs> to be honest. I uh, expect especially Kaki to pull away and Dinda as well, who's uh, very, very strong on these kind of tracks, I have to say. Very strong also on the Nordschleife. Uh, so, so, so for him on the Nordschleife with P2, I guess it was, there back there. So definitely um, he's in the shout as well for... Um, a podium and I think Tony has got superior um, race pace uh, as well I mean we've qualified very very near to him but that doesn't really mean anything normally I'm um, not coming over the raw pace in the race I'm more coming over the consistency that uh, um, if I deliver that I am always in a good shout to get some very very good points in this league here we are then on the first lap, actually in the first for this corner, a little bit of sliding there, we have to settle it uh, into this race a little bit in order to make, yeah, to get, not, not to hurt the tires also too much because I uh, definitely hope not to stop in this race, which shouldn't be too difficult, this is not the most tire demanding setup because these corners are quite slow and a lot of long straights, so um, it's not that tire demanding I have to say. Um, compared to some other tracks, and you can see Tony gaining in the slipstream, so he's definitely not having the uh, worst right that's we did that uh, McLaren there the power. behind us. And uh, yeah, we kept it quite nicely here on the first lap, of course. Kaki is putting weight in, they're also um, already a second up the road. Seems like Tony is not that close here, I think he had a bad exit out of the chase. So we will see what we can do over the course of the next steps and the 2.06.37 is not the pace we will set uh, over the course of this race as we are already 8 tenths up in, uh, coming into the first corner, coming through the first corner and uh, yeah, very very good start, very very good first lap, let's uh, skip onto lap 5 actually so as we are setting a new personal best from a 204.7 and as expected Kaki is pulling away from Dinda, Dinda is pulling away from us and Tony and me are actually pulling away a little bit from the pack as well which is I think Sola in P5 at the moment and Grunstra behind behind them as well so Grunstra actually <laughs> having a very very good race so far uh, occur, um, considering he's in the Z4 and the Z4 is absolutely terrible around this track because it hasn't got any fast Flowing arrow corners, just oh, slow point. corners and very, very bumpy circuit and uh, long straights, lots of elevation. That's not good for the Z4, I guess. And uh, now Tony, very, very close behind us, but we definitely have to watch out for him. And uh, yeah, they target us, of course, to not make any mistakes in this uh, uh, couple of corners. He's definitely not going to try and overtake on this one, will he? And uh, then getting a good exit out of the dipper and to see what we can do on the straights compared to the McLaren and here we go then down the hill actually now in second gear that was actually a tip from uh, Nostra as well he gave me quite a few tips about this track I have to say before the race um, which helped quite a lot in the race with the sta stability of the car and uh, yeah I mean it felt very really really great at the moment to drive around though we had a good exit after the dipper this time out but Tony very very close behind us now yeah, has been not matching our time from the last uh, lap and here we go then he will pull out of the slipstream here and he's going up the inside uh, for this kink here and we will leave him the room and we are going off the throttle a little, little bit uh, in order not to run off the track and he's taking a position out from, uh, from us we didn't quite uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't really worth uh, defending too hard because you, you already saw he, ha he has superior pace on us on this track uh, in general <laughs> in general I guess so uh, yeah we will see how that develops and Sola not too far behind he actually break the way from the pack behind so that is could be a Bentley battle here for P4 developing in the next lap if he keeps up that pace he's got that at the moment and uh, 
can see already Tony pulling away. One second is the gap now already, and he's uh, well, he's been in front for four corners. So definitely, uh, we can't do much about him, I guess. It will most likely that the three McLaren drivers of the front will stay in front. And as we now skip to the end of that lap, and we can see Sola very, very close behind us. T Tony pulled out 1.6 seconds on that lap, 1.7 seconds even on that lap so far. So he is definitely on a high at the moment, but we didn't have the best laps either with 9 tenths behind our previous lap. So uh, we have a little bit to work on our consistency here in, in order to uh, stay where we are at the moment. So we have to maybe defend from Sola a little bit harder. And I wanted to because we do not really want to lose the position to him because it seems like he has not got the raw pace of Tony ahead at the moment. Here we, here we go, here we go, then down the straight up the hill. He's gaining in the slipstream and he's probably going to. No, no, he's not a. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move. Although we had the better exit, he had the better exit because we had to, had to take a very tight line into this corner. He's very, very close now, but uh, he's not trying to do a move, or will he? He's a little bit late, late on the brakes than us. They are taking a different approach to that corner. A little bit of a tap from him, but nothing too major. But he's definitely now very, very close and very, very feisty in his debut in this, uh, well, in the Elite League, as he got promoted up from pro after winning two of the last three races, I think, before this one. So he's definitely not... Um, well, uh, the probe was definitely not the right spot for him. So now going into this very, very tricky downhill section again. And this is really, really a tricky one. If you break just a fraction too late, you will lose the car on the back end. And it's definitely better to take a little bit more cautious line into the dipper as well, where you can ah, lose the car a little bit as uh, Solar tipped, tapped the inside of the wall and stamped the wall on the outside as well. So that's going to lose him some time and also probably got some damage on his car as well now and that is going to help us in the next couple of laps to maybe pull a gap because the pack behind is definitely uh, pretty confident that this pack uh, behind except Sola is not catching up to us because uh, it would be I, I would be it would be pretty embarrassing for me at least um, also doing quite good on this track so far to be catched by a Z4 on this track. But, uh, even if it's Gronstra. Gronstra, really, really good driver. And now we're doing a big, 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 big jump to a lap 24 because nothing happened whatsoever. The gap to Tony increased to 24.6 seconds at the moment, so he was about a second faster per lap. Maybe even a little bit more because he uh, passes on lap 5. And Sola is now 11 seconds behind, so he's definitely got some damage from that one and wasn't the most consistent as well. I have to say, I was very, very inconsistent. And uh, yeah, also kept the tires quite good alive, as you can see also on the indicator. And we're now uh, actually uh, setting a green first sector here, which is very, very uh, surprising. 65,000 is faster than our uh, fastest first sector and uh, yeah, it seems like the tires are in pretty good shape and we didn't tap a wall so far it's also quite worth mentioning i think we had one coming up to the standard section and we break one i think once we break too late for this section here and i had to go over the astroturf and then i got a five second slowdown penalty but it didn't cost me too much because it was already a very very slow section indeed so uh, it wasn't too uh, bad. Uh, now again into the dip and yeah, um, this is probably going to be another pre-personal uh, best set it's set uh, setting on lap 24. It just shows how good our tires are still. How consistent we are actually in this race so far. It has been quite a long uh, time since we had this kind of races. Last podium, of course, was. Uh, was uh, at uh, uh, only podium actually in this league was actually just too high last week but we're definitely not going to uh, hit that target again because we're before at the moment and, uh, but it but, uh, doesn't really matter this race is really 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 relieving to drive after um, especially Donington which was a very very poor race I have to say for me and also Nordschleifer wasn't too good 
Uh, last good race I said, uh, was actually Road America for me. It's a burn on Road America were the best races of the season for me. But here we go then on lap, uh, two laps later actually, on lap 26. And we lost a little bit of time here in this, uh, in this, um, on this lap because the track is suddenly getting very, very slippery with also I think the time progressing. And uh, yeah, we're still in P4. We lost about 3 seconds on that lap, but still the gap to Solar still uh, 11 seconds, a little bit less than 11 seconds. And that's Kaki disconnected from the race in the lead. Oh my god, how unfortunate is that with two and a half laps for him to remain as he was uh, probably going up the hill or something. But very, very unfortunate for the championship leader. And I think if he would have finished this race, he would have run the championship already this... No. No, 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 that's not true. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, screw me. <laughs> you didn't, wouldn't have won the championship on this uh, kind of stage, but that's so unfortunate for him. Um, as we now inherited that podium position, which is of course very, very uh, nice to have another podium in this league, but I mean, how unfortunate is that for the McLaren? It's not going to be a McLaren 1, 2, 3 like it was last season. Well, it was a Bentley 1, 2, 3 last season. But it's also only going to be a McLaren 1 2, and this is going to be a Bentley in P3, which is us. Very, very, very relieving result. What? I really have what? to say, I couldn't be happier with this result, to be honest. And uh, here we get an over the line in P3. So it's Dinda actually winning his first ever race in this league, which is uh, kind of nice him. Very, very good drive. Tony catched him, but he wasn't uh, wasn't able to close that gap entirely to attack him for the, for the lead. He pushed quite hard, I think, and also shred his tires a little bit. Sola, what a debut for him in P4. Jellyfish in P5. Nostra, very good team result in P6. I think this is, he's equaling his best result in this league with this race. Gibbs, also very good performance here in the McLaren in P7. And then the best non turbocharged car is Maisie and Anvex in P8 and 9. I mean, these, these, those two guys are so good in, so good and so consistent in race pace. They're all, 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 um, um, always gaining so many positions in the race. Kanuma in P10 and Grunge in P11, not so, not good races for, especially Kanuma, who could have done a little bit better, I think, even though he wasn't the Aston. Aston is not too bad on this track. I think maybe the best try uh, car after the turbocharged cars. Then Federico, Blue Rat, Silver Arrow, uh, Janetta, Hideaki, Martin van der Bent. We've got here Central Brownski Mini Black. And I think a couple of cars already pulled out of the session because that, and that is not the entire grid showing. I think Larsen's as well is not listed. Uh, he was definitely in the session earlier. I think he finished the race as well, but uh, these are the race results. We've got another podium in the in, in this league and I uh, hope you enjoyed this race and I will see you most likely for the next video which is going to be uh, Monza and which was actually the race after Monza. Uh, Hockenheim, yeah, actually uh, I will do that in one video because they were a little bit uh, boring so I will just um, do these in one video and uh, yeah, again, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.